friends, I'm COVID-19 in the Houston area, and this is good news. According to the Texas Medical Center, the reproduction rate is now 0.78. Remember, anything under a one means that there is not widespread community transmission of the virus. Yeah, the current positivity rate for the last seven days stands at 3.2%. That means out of 100 tests, only about three are testing positive. That's almost an entire percent lower than the week before, which is really great news. And for those who do end up testing positive, some pharmacies are now meant to act as a one-stop shop. Yeah, places like Walgreens and CVS are expected to soon offer both testing and antiviral treatment options. Houston's only full-time TV health reporter Haley Hernandez shows us where in Houston you can find these. Haley? Yeah, so two COVID-19 antiviral pills are available for free in the U.S., but getting them quickly can be challenging. I did find where you can get them here in Houston. I confirmed local pharmacies are part of the test to treat program. According to Kroger, 60 stores located in Harris, Walker, Montgomery, Brazoria and Orange counties have the antivirals but won't be given on the spot because they're not testing in stores. They say antivirals must be prescribed by a physician and started within five days of symptoms. While at CVS, they say all minute clinic locations are participating now and their on staff PAs and nurse practitioners can prescribe the drug there. And Walgreens says patients can get them at more than 250 Walgreens nationwide. You will have to call or look online to know whether the one in your neighborhood has some in stock. These treatments work to prevent the worst outcomes of COVID-19. Our local hospital systems seem to be getting fewer antiviral pills. Director of Houston Methodist System Clinical Pharmacy Services tells me they've only dispensed about 30 patients worth since they became available in January. However, they've given more than 450 patients evu-shelled. That's a treatment for immune-compromised patients that's aimed at preventing infection. They provided this video of their first patient, Jen Pate, getting the injection. Memorial Herman says they're also administering this preventative treatment and it's been effective for vulnerable patients. Now, you want to check with your doctor if you're a good candidate for either of these drugs. The American Medical Association has voiced concerns over patients getting antivirals at a pharmacy because they say that they may not understand a patient's full medical history or medications being taken, so a primary care pro provider should be consulted. Officials say that's why it is important to talk to your doctor to access treatment options. Keith? All right.